I do not know where to start. Hmm. Hey guys, it's your girl Noah Bensey, and wow, this video has taken a really, really long time to make, and it's been highly requested. Like, I literally, I did a poll on it, and it like practically swept out the whole, <laughs> like all the other ones I was gonna do. Um, oh, I really don't know where to start on this because I don't want to sound shady. And I'm kind of glad I did wait this long because now I've had a few experiences of my own and I've watched a few videos on YouTube and talked to a few people and it's just like now I feel like I compiled enough research to actually like talk about it and give good advice because it's been a question I've been asked by you guys for like probably two years, like no joke, so... <laughs> Let's just get into it. Yes, my heart belongs to daddy. So I simply couldn't be bad. Lately, I see a lot of girls that are bragging that they made it big with their sugar daddy when they really, in big picture, are just escorts. And then these guys that are calling themselves sugar daddies that are really just trying to pay for a girlfriend experience, a full service girlfriend experience. And I'm sorry, guys, that is not a sugar daddy. And we need to retrain the system. That is a completely other thing. And to girls and guys that are trying to find babies and find daddies um it just like it adds a lot of clutter and it's fucked up that like we have to constantly deal with like on a guy end you constantly deal with these girls that have like these crazy demands and like all this weird shit and hourly rates and all of this stuff which is not how it works and then you have these guys that are like hey baby like I want to take you out to dinner and have sex with you and be your sugar daddy like that is not how the world works that is not what being a sugar daddy is that is not what being a sugar baby is I believe it's time to redraw the lines that separate all of those like worlds and redefine what it is to be a sugar baby and to have a sugar daddy experience now, disclaimer, what you choose to do with your daddy is your choice. And if sex is one of the things that you choose to do and you don't feel like you need to do, then you know what? Power to you, I guess. But it doesn't come with the job description. It's not what it is. I talk to a lot of girls and a lot of girls throw around the word guilty. And you should never feel guilty or obligated to have sex because somebody bought you a big present or gave you um, a big donation to whatever you're doing. That is not, no, 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 girl. Never place value on yourself. That is not an even exchange. He can get his money back, but you can't ever get that part of yourself back. Have pride and be clear and upfront with the people that you are bringing into your life. Now to start, a really, really good motto is be a gold digger, not a gold digger. No real daddy just wants to hand a girl money. A real sugar wants to see a strong, independent woman on her two feet with aspirations and goals. So tip one, if you want real money, have real aspirations and a real plan to get there. Being a sugar baby is mastering your passion, beauty, knowledge, and companionship instead of sex. Ask right away and be upfront. Always ask from a place of power and not a place of need. Red flags, people that come off shady are just no-goes. There are tons of fish in the sea. Don't feel desperate. And remember, this is a person that you're taking into your life, that you're going to be spending time with. So get to know them. Make sure they're actually somebody that you want to be around. Once you see your worth and how priceless you are, anybody who doesn't help is a hindrance and needs to be pushed aside. Another big tip is be sincere. 
ask in person, face to face, over Skype. Don't just call the person and set your demands or text them and ask them to do things. It's again, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video here to let that all sink in. And I'm gonna create a part two that focuses on what to do in a sugar daddy relationship, um, how to keep one long term, little tips and tricks that I've learned. I would love to hear some of your tips and tricks and comments and experiences. If you don't feel comfortable, obviously commenting them down below, you can always send me a DM on Twitter or Instagram, and I would love to hear about it. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Also, you can give it a thumbs up if you want to hear about some of my sugar daddy experiences. Um, I've had probably three or four in the past four years and some of them went really bad and some of them went really good. So if you want to hear more about that, give this video a thumbs up. This has been another episode of Secret Life of a Cam Girl. I love you guys and I'll see you with part two in like two days. <laughs>